hello and welcome back to my channel today i will be making um cassava leaf um soup cassava leaf is um is uh, an authentic meal from uh, either the liberians or the Sierra Leoneans. but um some of the videos i have watched on how to make cassava soup had um peanut butter in it it had uh, msg in it because i'm gonna make it keto style i have decided to make it my way so i am sorry my serolinian friends fans and members or my um liberian friends it might not be the basic authentic way that you make your cassava leaf soup stew but this is going to be the african keto's um way uh, before we start, I bought my cassava leaf in this pack. It was actually frozen and then I was advised to wash it very well, which I did. You have to wash it out very well because it has, um, it tends to have sand in it. So I washed it out and then I actually saw the sand that it contained so these are the things i need i'm just going to keep it simple and basic which is what keto is all about you keep it to the basic the less you use the more you're going to get i will be using my mixed meats i'm using chicken and uh turkey fresh turkey smoked turkey and this piece of fish that i i saw in my fridge i'll be using palm oil and of course the cassava leaf I blended a bell pepper, about two bell pepper with about um, two tomato and some onions with three habanero pepper and my um, locust beans. This is called um, dawa dawa in Yoruba. In Igbo, we call it uh, obey, ogiri obey. Yoruba call it iru. I don't know if that is what they call the ogiri, but that is what I have available. And then I'm going to use my basic keto seasoning, my adobo seasoning, my steak seasoning, some salt, and a little chicken, um, chicken fat for cooking. And then I am going to do my basic one pot cooking. I like one pot cooking. It's easier, it's faster, and it's less stressful. Let's go there. I normally you boil this you season your boil when it's cooked and then you go with the next process but I am gonna season and boil with my pepper mix I am gonna boil it with my tomato and my pepper mix this is about um, is about one and a half tablespoons of adobo seasoning, about a tablespoon of um, steak seasoning. Salt to taste. I don't like putting my salt all at once. I just put a little to cook with. I just put a little to cook with and then when the food is cooked at the end of the meal I taste it and see if I need to add in some more I'm gonna add in a little of my chicken fat this is optional you don't need it but you can actually cook with any fat that you want that is the beauty of cooking I already have all of this in my pots I've turned the stove on the only thing I have left is the um, palm oil and the cassava leaves cover and cook until the meat is tender if the water tends to run dry you add a little bit more and stir from time to time
also we are going to add the palm oil cassava leaf So I'm basically going to cook it on low, on low until I cook out the water. So whilst our cassava leaf stew is cooking, we're going to be having it with cabbage rice that I call the cab rice. So while this is still cooking, I'm going to start getting my cabbage ready for my cab rice so what i need for my cabbage rice is um i'll be using avocado oil a little adobo seasoning so what i need for my <clears throat> what i need for my cab rice are i'll be using avocado oil a little adobo seasoning, some salt, and of course my cabbage. Cut that out. So you can either um, put this in the food processor. To my dry pan, I'm going to add a little avocado oil. You can use any oil you like, especially coconut oil. Most times I like using coconut oil. Then I will add my cabbage. A little salt. Just a little because adobo has salt in it. A little adobo seasoning. And then I fry it until I get it drier than this and cook it. I get it drier than this and cook it a bit. So that should do it for our cabbage rice and my cassava leaf stew is also ready it's ready it's ready it's ready get the plates get the plates get the plates so it's time for tasting it be known that this is gonna be my first time of tasting or eating this thing and then I am going to give you my honest opinion.
the moment of truth is here That is rather tasty. I'm surprised myself. So the fact that this meal is not Nigerian, but I will advise my Nigerian people who has so many cassava leaves that goes to waste every year that they burn. You can see cassava leaf is not poisonous. It's something that is edible. Even the cocoa yam leaf. Me, as long as it is green, I will eat it. Hmm, that tastes really good. I'm sure it's going to go good also with my um, swallow. Especially the keto pando. That has come to be my best swallow or my keto for some wood swallow. Mm, it's rather good. Really good. So even if you're not from Liberia or from Sierra Leone, I would advise you to try out this cassava leaf stew or soup. Because this is going to work for me as a soup also. I'm going to use it for my um, swallow. I maybe put a picture in the group, in the Facebook group when I'm done. So thank you for watching. Thank you my Liberian friends. My Sierra Leonean friends, members. For this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful recipe. It is rather delicious. Now I know what to do with all the cassava leaves in my village when I travel back to Nigeria. Like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like it. A thumbs down if you don't. Your choice. Share. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mmm.